everyone welcome back to another fsr3 video <coughs> in this video we are going to try fsr3 with uh, starfield or more like uh, starfield or like bug fields or like trash fields whatever so let's get to the video mm. so right now i'm on uh, 1080p medium settings and dlss is on quality and the fps is around like 50 48 low uh, low 50s and high 40s like 45 to 48 to 50 uh, yeah that's about the native fps let's get to the mod shall we first quite the game then how's this wallpaper looking huh let me know in the comment uh download this zip from the link in the description fsr 3 for starfield extract it to any directory open this uh, one thing let me make clear that uh, this is for the rtx 23s and 30 series this may not work on amd gpus or may work on some amd gpus which have the hacks or hardware accelerated graphics uh, setting enabled so do careful about that uh, so copy this uh, from the zip open a starfield installation directory one thing again um, update your game to the latest version which is 1.8.8.6 i'll leave a link in the description for every update from uh, from any update like if you are on a specific version uh, this way there will be an all-in-one update uh, i will paste the link in the description download those updates and update your game to the latest <clears throat> after that pasting the files go to the dlss tweak.ini where was it there dlss tweak.ini and it's the same step as any other fsr2 dlss mod so you can skip it or you can just uh, follow my follow me step by step uh, after that uh, open the dlss tweak.ini um, and come to the middle section of the text and find a line called other dlss such as frame gen and after that come to the line below that uh, delete this semicolon from this line just the semicolon nothing else delete the semicolon and select this path and delete it to don't delete this space uh, before the c delete this path to should i remove the line maybe <clears throat> after that come back to the directory select the path where your star field is located by clicking on the address bar then right click copy go back to the text again and paste it here after that come to the end of the line and click on backslash press on backslash from keyboard after that side the text again and find this dlss g2 wrapper dll right click on it rename copy the whole text not the file just copy the text name of the file click outside don't rename it click outside come back to the text again uh, come back where you have placed the backward slash after that right click paste and save this file and we are done here now we're gonna run the game uh, one thing you can do is uh, skip ahead a bit so i will load up into the game and show you or you can stay with me whatever your choice is <coughs> if this video is helping you guys do leave a like and do subscribe to the channel it really motivates me guys to make a new video every time someone new subscribe and says that this video is working or your mod is working <clears throat> okay so we're in the game again and dlss frame generation is not yet activated i'm gonna go to setting uh, display after that there we go frame generation is off now it's on and you can set dlss to whichever uh, is your preference like balanced fsr I, I mean balanced performance whichever you like i like quality the most most and frame generation is on so let's go back to the game and voila the frame generation is working successfully from 48 to 84 80 yeah okay so this is it guys 
do subscribe to the channel hit like and i'll be posting more fsa 3 videos press tab okay i need to wear the helmet yeah now i'm gonna mute the mic and let you guys uh, show you guys how the game is uh, running on the fsa 3 enjoy the gameplay and do subscribe thank you guys Client is here. Let's go.